I don't know how to play instruments, so I'm not pretending I'm going to be a concert player, you know, and I don't have to even think if that is my path. It's not. So far, it has not been. Maybe it will be in the future, but so far it's not. So I'm not even worried about it. I'm just following what I can do. Well, I talk quite well. <laughs> so mm -hmm. somehow life shows you in a way, ah, there you go. Then uh, uh, when you have answered those questions and you have to start going the path, I suggest this alo which is a connection to the highest expression, to the highest intelligence that acts. Mm -hmm. It is precisely what, let's say, Krishna taught Arjuna, to, not to be preoccupied with the fruits of his action, simply to follow whatever comes to be done. And, um, and this allowing, letting go and surrendering truly puts you in the flow because the life as a river for example, a river is already present in the source, on the way, and in the ocean. So it has already reached the ocean. You don't need to teach um, a river how to come to the sea. Mm. Your life has already come to where it is going. Because, as we have said many times, time is not linear. So all the moments of your life are now. And you have already reached all your goals, all your successes. There is no need for struggle. There is no need for fighting. There is need for allowing. And um, I read two nights or a few nights ago in a book that inspired me, and I told you yesterday, mm -hmm. what you seek is seeking you. Uh, what you seek is seeking you. The success you seek is seeking you. It is already there. And when you allow and when you let go, you're actually not running around like a crazy, you know, chick chicken without head. You are stable so that the success can find you. Otherwise, if you're never in the same place, mm -hmm. you're running on all these little projects everywhere around. Success doesn't find you because he's like, oh, I keep looking here. He's not there. I look there. He's not there because you're all the time moving. Stand still in your power. Mm -hmm. Allow, let go, surrender. And success will find you because it is looking for you. Mm. So this would be the summary for this. Now, with your energetic knowledge, what else can they practically do? Yes, so now I can please talk about... Um, first, first uh, now I'm putting the heart of uh, psychosensory kind of uh, practitioner. Um, and so psychosensory means, you know, there's a sensory input plus where we activate the body that we are connecting directly with the physical reality. And also we are connecting with the mind and uh, the, let's say the mind, yeah, in, in this case. So I would like you to first uh, start while we're going to explore this. Uh, I would like to ask you to start from the state there's a state we can work with states to start with it's a state of what if what if uh, in order to allow for something um, there are few conditions from my perspective first is this condition of um, am i there's a question am i safe and this question is first asked by the amygdala, uh, by the uh, little uh, organ in the in the brain, which is responsible for uh, relationship and survival of the body. And so this amygdala, twenty four seven, and actually from the very beginning when it's formed in the fetus, uh, starts recording. Uh, all the sensory input 24 7 and uh, in order to to protect the body yes to protect you to pr protect the vessel to protect the the vessel of 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 our um, of ourselves let's say so am i safe that's the first question that's the first question and um in order to move to allowing so actually that's the first criteria we have um because you know if i look around move around this amygdala is scanning all 
the the space and uh, if there's a tiger or let's say the example would be if i see the stick the amygdala is asking is that snake or stick right so we need to first calm down this amygdala and uh, which means be in a relatively safe space in the with with our body so we put in a safe space our body it's like a kind of very simple logical observation in order to make any decision and uh, so so another question uh, the amygdala ask is is will i survive yes so am i safe will i survive and um, now if we put ourselves now uh, we need to remember we the body doesn't know the difference between imagination and real um, scenario really so um, i'm also the laughter yoga practitioner and i do a lot of laughter uh, uh, workshops or and i use a lot of laughter in my work uh, so the body really doesn't know if you're faking laughter or not uh, in this case um, we can enter this space which we call what if this is this, the first step because then we are opening the space for possibilities yes so if i say okay we want i want to allow for my passion to go uh, to to be unfolded or, or to to be realized or manifested uh, then the good step would be if we're still not in this state uh, what if what if i am capable to do this what if this is safe what if um i am safe doing this because from my perspective really this safety is the number one cause why we are not proceeding with our life the one the way we want mm. can you imagine uh, all restrictions we have in life um everyone is saying no don't do this uh be careful because it's hot uh from very beginning